again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along, and don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. All right, so we are fast approaching Easter and I decided to do a creative take on Easter egg painting and rather than doing eggs, we're doing painted rocks today. So I have my little uh, prepped rocks here painted with one coat of white acrylic paint. I have my three standard brushes, um, no big brush this time. So I just have this uh, medium sized pointed brush and then two small detail brushes. I'm gonna get those in my water cup off the side of the screen. And the colors that I have to start today's background, uh, I just have a little bit of orange and some red and a small amount of white. If you'd like to see a full materials list of everything that you'll need to paint along, go ahead and check the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and jump in. So this first step is going to be very, very simple. And we're just gonna grab our medium sized brush and we're just going to do a background color for each of our eggs. And I'm just going to mix my orange in with my white here, just a little bit uh, for my slightly smaller. And these are just rocks that I literally found outside on the street <laughs> in my driveway, hunting rocks like a little kid. So fun, great activity for children as well although the folk art styling is maybe a little tricky. <laughs> um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and cover that whole face there. And then I'll do the same thing with the other one in red. And I'm just going to use red as it is rather than adding any white. Sometimes that orange, uh, sometimes with yellows too, you'll need a little bit of white to up the opacity a little bit. And what I'm going to do is just fill these in with their background colors. Um, all the way and then I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to flip them over and do the other side and then we're going to add our super cute bunny and our little chicken. So I'll see everyone in a few. Okay, welcome back artists. We have our dry little rocks now all covered with our first coat of paint and I got it on both sides here. I'm now going to orient them in the way that I want them to be like straight up and down. And I rinsed my brushes, got fresh water at break, and put a few more color uh, colors here on the piece of palette paper. So I have a little bit of my ultramarine blue and then just a little bit of black. And then I still have my orange and my red and my white. All right, let's go ahead and jump back into it. We're going to do now our animal shapes. And we can start really with either one, um, but I think I'm going to start with the slightly trickier one, which is going to be our little rabbit shape. So I'm going to use my very smallest brush, gonna be mindful that I don't have any drips there on it. And I'm going to grab some ultramarine blue and mix in a little bit of white. Just a little bit there, just to get that blue nice and vibrant and opaque, that looks perfect. Okay. And now I like to start with the rabbit's face. So the face, we're going to have it be sort of triangular shaped, but like a gentle curve here in the front. Okay, just like so. And then the ears are gonna attach right there, but for now we're just going to do like the back of the head. Filling, along, filling it in along as I go. Okay. And then a little chest here, just like a slight little curved brush stroke out. And then his right front foot here. So the leg is gonna come out like so, and then with a the little foot there on the end. Right here is going to be sort of a circular shape coming back into the back leg and attaching like so. Okay, and then we'll do on the other side here, coming down to meet that back leg. Gonna get this filled in real quick. And you kind of start to smooth out all the shapes. 
Just like so. Bring that to connect. Always kind of starting small. And then we can push it a little bit further out as we go. And then a little bunny tail. Like so. And some cute bunny ears on top. Back one there. And then the front one a little bit fatter. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of finesse that shape a little bit. go looking good pretty cute little bunny shape very simple okay always making it a little bit bigger and kind of finessing the shape there as I go out I'm going to let that blue dry just for a second and actually let's go ahead and just Add some dots really quick with that same blue. Little dots here across the bottom. This can kind of be wherever you like. Super cute. Okay. And then Going to add a couple adorable little flowers. So I've rinsed my brush and I'm going to make some pink up with red and white together. Very simple. Okay. And just with that little tiny brush still. I have a couple of these decorative flowers. This can kind of go wherever you'd like to, but I think I'll probably end up with three. And we'll just brush strokes out in every direction, and we're going to have a little cute center here in just a second. Five little brush strokes all out in each direction, and then we're going to be going in that rabbit in just a second too, but we're gonna let that dry for now. So for now, I'm just going to add a little bit of white to the centers here of my cute little flowers. So adorable. And let that be, and just let that dry. We're gonna work on the main shapes here of our other cute little chicken painting with black. So that's still that tiny little brush. May not even use my medium sized brush. I feel pretty comfortable with this. And I'm going to start with the chicken's back, like so. His little tail feathers. I'm gonna come up with three little brush strokes. And then I'm gonna have a big swoop. And this will be curved up top. So that's kind of our basic little bird shape. See, we started with the harder rabbit. <laughs> okay, now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this in with black. Super cute. Chicken one is really easy. Or I suppose it's a rooster. It has a little thing on top of his head that I don't know what the name is. <laughs> okay, just getting that filled in. Okay, super cute. Then I'm going to grab a little bit of my light orange here. So white and orange together with a clean brush. And I'm gonna do a little beak. Super simple little triangle. Maybe a little bit lighter for contrast. Cute little beak, little triangle right here. And then some little chicken feet. Gonna come out like so. 
and do a little V here on the bottom. Super whimsical and adorable. Okay. I'm going to grab a little bit of pink. Gotta be careful with this brush and those drips. Okay, I'm gonna do a little thing on top of his head that I don't know the name of, which if you know the name of, put in the comments below. <laughs> okay. And then for a little bit of folk elements for this guy too, I'm going to do some dots here and there. And this is also sort of up to you where you want to put these. Super cute. Okay, and now with a clean brush, we're going to come in with just a little bit of white for some more sort of decorative elements. Just a little tiny brush. And we're sort of balancing our shape here, very similar to the little flowers that we did. But we're going to do sort of like leaf shapes here. Just like so. And then a little bit of bigger leaf shape kind of on the end of each one of these. And this is very small detail work. So if you need to, what I like to do is sort of create the shape first, like so, and get those leaves done. And then you can come back in with a little bit of red if you need. And you can clean up the shape slightly. Just like so, and get an even cleaner and neater. Okay, little details here. Rinsing my brush in between as well. Okay, very very tiny brush strokes here. Just cute little folk shapes. Okay, coming back and fattening up each of those leaves and then you can kind of come in and finesse things again if you need to with some red, just like so. All right, very nice. I feel like it's looking a little seaweedy. <laughs> but that's okay. All right, final one here. I've done um, a class on the ornament painting as well. And it's always sort of deceptive how simple these tiny little designs are, but actually a lot goes into them. It's just a very mini canvas. I think that these are going to be so cute just as year-round decorations too for like the kitchen super cute or an outdoor space and if you are going to bring these outdoors you can certainly do a varnish layer to up that durability so we're just painting with acrylic paints today but if you want them to last for a long time outside I would recommend doing that Okay, looking pretty cute. All right, let's go back into our little bunny here. 
And we'll finish that area up with some more light orange. So this is sort of like a little trick that almost makes it look like the Pisonki eggs. I might be saying that wrong. That use the wax resist. I believe that they are Polish. Let me know in the comments section if you know what I'm talking about. Going to film right where the leg kind of meets the underside here of the rabbit. I'm going to do a curved line like so. And then I'm going to come up from where the tail starts and do a quick little spiral. And I'm often kind of doing a first sketch, sort of going over it a couple times until it looks more how I want. Okay, I'm going to do a couple little dots there and the tail is so cute. I'm going to do a little kind of floral shape right above. And then a little eyeball. Just like so. Okay, and I might want to come back and just finesse that a little bit slightly later, but for now that's looking pretty adorable. Okay, back into the chicken. Going to now grab some red. Still working with that very smallest brush. And I'm going to do a quick curved line right here for a wing. Again, giving it that sort of wax resist look a little bit by bringing that background color just right on top. We're just using acrylics, so we can layer it. And I thought about using acrylics to paint eggs, like hard boiled eggs, um, but you don't really wanna eat the acrylic paint, so you gotta keep those away from each other. <laughs> Going to do a few little brush strokes throughout my cute little bird, just like so. All the way back and up and around that little curve shape. And then a few kind of right side up and then pointing downwards again. And then just a little eyeball on this guy. I'm gonna grab some white. Just like so. And go ahead and put a little black dot in the center for this guy. Super cute. All right. So here we have our adorable little finished eggs looking super cute, perfect for the garden or for your Easter decor this year. Let me know what you thought of this craft in the comments section below. If you painted along, I've created a Facebook group called The Art Club that's specifically designed for my students to share their work. So we would love to have you over there. Link below to join. I also have some exciting new Zoom offerings to tell you guys about. The first is a free live webinar happening Saturday, June 18th on how to start a home-based arts and crafts business. This free 90-minute crash course will go over how to get started making money from home with your creative skills. Then if you need help building your business, I'm offering a four-week personalized workshop on how to do just that. And it's called the Entrepreneur Academy. Well, we'll go over website building, graphic design, SEO, and a whole lot more. I'm also offering private live Zoom painting parties with a one-on-one -on -one instruction from yours truly now. And you can find out more about all of these offerings on my website, which is skycraft.com. Links below. Thanks again for watching. That is all the instruction that I have for this week's tutorial. So until next time, stay creative.